Sun transits through Leo on August 17th to September 17th. This period is marked by the Sun's conjunction with Mercury, enhancing communication skills and intellectual capabilities. During this time, the Sun's energy interacts with aspects of other planets, including Jupiter, Rahu, and Saturn. Leo, ruled by the Sun itself, gains an extra dose of its own energy, potentially bringing some positive vibes along the way. Sun aspects Aquarius as well, fostering personal growth and introspection. For accurate predictions, consider your moon sign, ascendant sign, and current Mahadasha Lord placement. Also, evaluate the Ashtaka Varga score of the Sun in Leo for deeper insights. When the Sun transits over a planet from the birth chart, or when in transit itself, the outcomes of the transit may differ. Therefore, it is crucial to know which planet the Sun is transiting over. It can bring positive happenings if it is transiting over friends like the Moon, Mars, and Jupiter, and they are in favorable positions. Transiting over neutral like Mercury will be average. However, a transit over an enemy planet like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, or Venus will be stressful. Individual experiences will differ based on unique astrological factors. If you're currently under the influence of the Sun Dasha, its effects may be more pronounced. Overall, the Sun's transit through Leo offers a period of potential growth, resilience, and transformation. By considering your astrological birth chart, you can gain valuable insights into how these cosmic movements might influence your journey. If you're unsure about your planetary placements, simply click the link below to generate your personalized Vedic birth chart. Keep in mind that every zodiac sign and planetary alignment brings forth distinct energies that impact our life journey. Let's explore the predictions for various signs for Sun's transit through Leo. As the Sun transits through Leo, it encounters the fifth house of your birth chart, heralding a period of introspection and transformation. However, this phase may not be entirely smooth sailing. The alignment of planets indicates a potential for mental struggles, agitation, and moments of embarrassment. Health issues may arise, further amplifying the emotional turbulence. The emphasis now shifts to creativity, education. The influence of the sun in its own sign could exacerbate these challenges, giving rise to issues related to mental well-being. While the sun's energy is known for its vitality, an imbalance during this transit might manifest as restlessness or unease. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the sun during this transit introduces a complex interplay of energies. Saturn's influence suggests the need for disciplined efforts and a responsible approach in various areas of life. Aries individuals might encounter situations that demand a mature and patient outlook. Jupiter's influence, on the other hand, could bring opportunities for growth and expansion, particularly in terms of income. The aspect of Rahu may add an element of unpredictability, urging them to be cautious and adaptable. A surge in sexual desires could lead to a lack of fulfillment. Conflicts with authorities or government-related matters might surface. Family support may waver when needed most, adding to the emotional strain. You will need to put in a lot of effort in your studies or the studies of your kids at this time. Financial aspects could also experience fluctuations, demanding careful management. Friends or acquaintances may exhibit unexpected behavior, challenging your interpersonal relationships. The looming fear of legal entanglements might cast a shadow of uncertainty. You can come across very authoritative towards your kids and lover, people related to fifth house. Interestingly, the sun's aspect on Capricorn, residing in your 11th house, offers a glimmer of hope amidst the cosmic complexities. This alignment suggests a potential increase in income, possibly alleviating financial concerns. Despite the challenges, opportunities for financial growth and stability may emerge. As the Sun is the Lord of Leo, it represents creativity and will help you become more so. Amidst these celestial dynamics, the union of Mercury and the Sun for the entirety of this transit enhances your communicative prowess. Harness this alignment to express yourself with eloquence and conviction, especially in professional or intellectual pursuits. While this transit presents its fair share of trials, it is essential to approach them as opportunities for personal evolution. Adopting a mindful approach to mental and physical well-being can help navigate the tides of emotional turbulence. Seek solace in activities that bring joy and harmony, as creative outlets may provide respite from the challenges. As the sun concludes its journey through Leo, the lessons learned during this period will pave the way for growth and self-discovery. Remember, challenges are stepping stones towards a more enlightened path. Embrace the cosmic currents with resilience, 
and let the flames of determination guide you through this transit. When the sun makes its transit through the fourth house of Taurus individuals, a range of potential experiences, both challenging and favorable, could come into play. This period may bring forth a complex blend of influences that could impact various aspects of their lives, including health, relationships, career, and domestic matters. The transit of the sun through the fourth house raises several significant themes, some of which may warrant careful attention. The reference to illness and concerns alludes to the possibility of health-related challenges that Taurus individuals might encounter during this phase. It's advisable for them to prioritize their well-being and adopt a proactive approach to maintaining good health. Engaging in regular exercise, following a balanced diet, and seeking timely medical advice can contribute to their overall well-being. Another focal point during this transit is the potential for conflict and mental instability. Taurus individuals might find themselves navigating disagreements or clashes, particularly with rivals or adversaries. This could extend to various spheres of life, including professional interactions or personal relationships. To mitigate such conflicts, maintaining a diplomatic and level-headed approach is recommended. Cultivating emotional resilience and practicing effective communication can help in managing these challenges. The influence of the sun in the fourth house also suggests a heightened emphasis on domestic matters and family dynamics. Taurus individuals could find themselves grappling with changes or disruptions within the home environment. This might manifest as circumstances that necessitate relocation or shifts in living arrangements. Decision-making could become more complex, and there might be a need to strike a balance between personal aspirations and familial responsibilities. The presence of Mercury conjunct the Sun during this transit could accentuate communication-related activities. Taurus individuals might find themselves engaged in discussions, negotiations, or planning that directly involves their home and family matters. This could be an opportune time to address any issues within the household, facilitating a more harmonious and productive living environment. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces a layer of complexity to this transit. Saturn's influence may bring about a sense of responsibility and discipline in managing domestic affairs. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion, particularly in the context of career or professional endeavors. However, the aspect of Rahu adds an element of unpredictability, urging Taurus individuals to exercise caution and adaptability in their approach. The Sun's aspect on the 10th house points to positive indications for Taurus individuals in their career or profession. This period could bring opportunities for success and recognition, potentially leading to advancements in their professional journey. In conclusion, while challenges related to health, conflicts, and domestic matters may arise, a proactive and balanced approach can help them navigate these hurdles. Engaging in effective communication and seeking resolutions within the family sphere can contribute to a harmonious home environment. As career prospects receive a boost through the sun's positive aspect, Taurus individuals can harness their determination to achieve professional success. The third house transit of the sun is often regarded as a favorable period, promising a blend of positive outcomes and constructive energies. Gemini individuals might enjoy an upswing in their well-being during this phase. Ailments could find resolution, and a general sense of vitality may prevail. This period could also mark a surge in courage and assertiveness, enabling them to tackle challenges with vigor. Financial prospects are likely to receive a boost as the third house is associated with money flow. The sun's influence could usher in opportunities for monetary gains and increased income. The arrival of funds and a heightened sense of financial stability might contribute to an overall sense of happiness and contentment. This period could provide Gemini individuals with the chance to solidify their financial standing and make well-informed decisions regarding investments and money management. The presence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit emphasizes communication and intellectual pursuits. Gemini individuals might find themselves engaging in dynamic conversations, exchanging ideas, and actively participating in intellectual endeavors. This could be an optimal time for learning, acquiring new skills, and expanding their knowledge base. Their communication style might become more persuasive and compelling, aiding them in negotiations and presentations. Siblings and neighbors could play a more significant role in their lives during this period. The sun's influence may lead Gemini individuals to foster closer connections with these people, possibly resulting in collaborative efforts or strengthened bonds. This transit might also kindle an interest in teaching and helping others, as they share their expertise and knowledge with those around them. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces a layer of complexity to this favorable period. Saturn's influence might bring about a need for disciplined and strategic approaches, particularly in communication and relationships. 
Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for expansion and growth, potentially benefiting their professional endeavors. However, the aspect of Rahu adds an element of unpredictability, urging them to exercise caution and adaptability in their interactions. Career prospects could see positive developments. This indicates the potential for honors, promotions, and transfers to desirable locations. Gemini individuals might experience a surge in their professional standing and recognition for their contributions. This could be a fruitful time to pursue career-related goals and seize opportunities for advancement. While the third house transit carries numerous auspicious indications, the aspect of the sun on the ninth house raises a note of caution regarding the well-being of the father. Gemini individuals are advised to pay attention to their father's health and well-being, taking proactive measures to ensure his safety and vitality. In summary, the transit of the sun through the third house holds the promise of health, prosperity, and dynamic opportunities. As they engage in vibrant communication, enhance their learning journey, and strengthen connections with siblings and neighbors, they have the chance to experience growth and fulfillment. Navigating the complexities brought by Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu's influences requires a balanced and adaptable approach. Career prospects shine brightly, but care for the father's well-being is paramount. The transit of the sun through the second house often carries a nuanced blend of energies, with implications for financial matters at the forefront. This is a period of potential financial challenges for cancer individuals. Betrayal and financial troubles could emerge, prompting them to exercise caution and prudent financial management. It is advisable for them to reassess their financial strategies, exercise fiscal restraint, and explore ways to secure their resources during this phase. The potential for conflict with a spouse is highlighted during this transit. Cancer individuals might find themselves navigating disagreements or tensions within their marital or partnership dynamics. This could be a time when open and honest communication becomes crucial, fostering understanding and resolution. The sun's presence in the second house might also intensify emotions, prompting them to address issues related to relationships and personal values. Health concerns, particularly related to the eyes and head, could arise during this period. Cancer individuals are advised to prioritize their well-being and seek timely medical attention if needed. This could also be a period of heightened emotional intensity, potentially leading to moments of rage or frustration. Cultivating emotional resilience and finding healthy outlets for emotional expression can be instrumental in managing such experiences. The influence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit accentuates communication and self-expression. Cancer individuals might find themselves drawn to assert their ideas and opinions with a heightened sense of authority. This could be an opportune time to engage in meaningful conversations, negotiate agreements, or express themselves creatively. As they navigate the challenges of this transit, effective communication can play a pivotal role in minimizing misunderstandings and conflicts. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun adds a layer of complexity to this period. Saturn's influence might prompt cancer individuals to adopt a disciplined and strategic approach to managing their resources and relationships. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion, possibly through new opportunities that arise from adversity. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. While the second house transit brings its share of challenges, the aspect of the sun on the eighth house raises potential concerns related to difficulties and disease. Cancer individuals are encouraged to prioritize their health and well-being, taking proactive measures to ensure their physical and emotional vitality. In summary, the transit of the sun through the second house for cancer individuals presents a landscape of challenges and opportunities. While financial troubles and potential conflicts with partners may arise, adopting a cautious and resilient approach can help them navigate these hurdles. Effective communication and strategic decision-making become key assets in managing relationships and finances. As they confront the complexities introduced by Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu's influences, cancer individuals have the potential to transform challenges into stepping stones for personal and financial growth. The transit of the sun through the first house brings its share of complex energies. Leo individuals might encounter potential hurdles like unproductive travel and poor health during this period. Challenges such as disease, loss of wealth, and difficulties could emerge warranting a vigilant and pragmatic approach to navigate these uncertainties. Health matters may need careful attention, particularly ailments affecting the eyes, head, and stomach. It's essential for Leo individuals to prioritize their well-being and seek appropriate medical care if needed. The potential for miscommunication with the spouse and worries surrounding relationships is also possible. During this transit, 
Leo individuals are encouraged to foster open and empathetic communication to address any misunderstandings or concerns that may arise. The sun's presence in the first house could intensify personal focus, prompting them to reflect on their life direction and self-image. This could be a period of self-discovery and introspection as they assess their goals, aspirations, and overall well-being. The Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit accentuates communication and self-expression. Leo individuals might find themselves drawn to assert their opinions and ideas with added conviction. This could be a time of increased intellectual engagement, creative expression, and effective communication. As they navigate the challenges of this period, clear and diplomatic communication becomes a valuable asset in minimizing conflicts and misunderstandings. The aspects of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces layers of complexity. Saturn's aspect may prompt Leo individuals to adopt a disciplined and responsible approach to managing their health and daily routines. Jupiter's aspect suggests the potential for growth and expansion, potentially through learning experiences or professional pursuits. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. During the period of the Sun's transit through Leo, Sun aspects Aquarius. The outcome of this aspect is unfavorable, potentially leading to negative occurrences such as accidents during travel and health issues affecting one's spouse. While this transit may present its share of challenges, it's important to note that the Sun is in its own sign, which could amplify its positive effects. The Sun's transit on the first house could render Leo individuals more visible and draw attention to them. This might lead to a temporary surge in popularity or notoriety, as others turn their gaze toward them. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the first house for Leo individuals brings a blend of potential challenges and growth opportunities. While unproductive travel and health concerns may be present, a proactive and balanced approach to well-being is recommended. Effective communication and self-expression can serve as tools for navigating relationship dynamics and personal introspection. The influence of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu invites adaptability and resilience. As Leo individuals embrace the complexities of this transit, they have the potential to harness their innate strengths and lead the way towards self-discovery and personal evolution. The transit of the Sun through the Twelfth House, often referred to as the House of Endings and Spirituality, introduces a series of themes that require careful consideration. The reference to illnesses and losses signifies that Virgo individuals might face health challenges or unexpected setbacks during this period. It is advisable for them to prioritize their well-being, adopt preventive health measures, and seek timely medical attention if needed. Losses, whether material or emotional, could become a significant focal point. The astrological interpretation suggests that circumstances might unfold that lead to a sense of loss or separation. Arguments and disagreements may arise, prompting Virgos to navigate relationship dynamics with patience and open communication. The emphasis on ill health and bodily harm underscores the importance of self-care and a proactive approach to maintaining physical and emotional well-being. The influence of the sun in the twelfth house could lead to heightened introspection and a preference for solitude. Virgo individuals might find solace in seeking moments of quiet reflection, delving into their inner world to gain insights and clarity. This could also be a period when they feel drawn towards charitable activities, foreign travel, or spiritual pursuits. Exploring foreign lands or engaging in spiritual practices might offer a sense of rejuvenation and inner peace. The presence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit enhances communication and intellectual engagement. Virgo individuals might find themselves inclined to express their thoughts and ideas with added clarity and confidence. This period could present opportunities for meaningful conversations and intellectual growth, as they navigate the challenges and introspective energies of the 12th house. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces layers of complexity to this phase. Saturn's influence could prompt Virgos to adopt a disciplined and responsible approach to managing challenges, including health and losses. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion, possibly through inner transformations and spiritual exploration. The aspect of Rahu adds an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. The aspect of the Sun on the sixth house brings positive indications, suggesting relief from disease and challenges. This could imply that despite the potential hardships, Virgo individuals have the inner strength and resilience to overcome obstacles and restore their well-being. It might also indicate a period of successful efforts to address health concerns and overcome setbacks. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the twelfth house for Virgo individuals ushers in a period of introspection, transformation, and potential growth. While challenges related to health, losses, 
and relationship dynamics may arise, Virgos are encouraged to embrace solitude, engage in self-care, and explore spiritual pursuits. Effective communication and intellectual engagement can serve as tools for navigating the complexities of this transit. As they navigate the influences of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu, Virgo individuals have the potential to emerge stronger, wiser, and more spiritually attuned. The transit of the Sun through the 11th house brings forth a series of positive indications that could impact diverse areas of Libra individuals' lives. This transit suggests the potential for honor and recognition during this period. Libras may find themselves receiving accolades, respect from peers, and acknowledgement for their contributions. This period might elevate their social standing and enhance their sense of self-worth. Material gains and financial prosperity are also highlighted during this transit. Libra individuals could experience income from various sources, contributing to their financial stability and enhancing their overall well-being. The positive energies of the sun's influence might lead to successful ventures, increased earnings, and a sense of abundance. This period could also bring opportunities for career advancement, promotion, and recognition for their professional achievements. Family happiness and auspicious events in the home sphere are potential outcomes of this transit. Libras might experience a harmonious and joyous atmosphere within their family, fostering deeper bonds and connections. Government-related endeavors could yield positive outcomes, further enhancing their sense of achievement and progress. The emphasis on dignity and success might inspire Libras to engage in social and philanthropic activities, contributing to their sense of purpose and altruism. The influence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit enhances communication and networking capabilities. Libra individuals might find themselves drawn to professional collaborations, networking events, and engaging in dynamic conversations with peers and associates. This could be an opportune time to expand their social circle, form beneficial alliances, and exchange ideas that contribute to their growth and success. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun adds depth and complexity to this phase. Saturn's influence could encourage Libra individuals to adopt a disciplined and strategic approach to managing their successes and responsibilities. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion, particularly in professional endeavors and social interactions. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. The aspect of the Sun on the fifth house indicates potential mental worries or concerns. While Libra individuals are poised for recognition and achievements, it is important for them to manage any stress or anxieties that may arise. Practicing mindfulness, seeking support, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance can help mitigate any mental strain. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the 11th house for Libra individuals ushers in a period of positive opportunities, growth, and recognition. With the promise of high status, financial gains, and career advancements, Libras are encouraged to embrace their achievements with humility and enthusiasm. Engaging in social interactions, networking, and philanthropic activities can further enhance their sense of purpose and fulfillment. As they navigate the influences of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu, Libra individuals have the potential to experience a transformative period of personal and professional expansion. The transit of the Sun through the 10th house, often referred to as the house of career and reputation, introduces a series of positive indications that could significantly impact various spheres of Scorpio individuals' lives. This is a period of productive and successful endeavors. The cosmic energies of this transit align favorably with Scorpio's aspirations and ambitions, potentially leading to accomplishments and recognition in their chosen fields. Success in education and career could mark a significant aspect of this period. Scorpio individuals may find themselves drawn to intellectual pursuits and a thirst for knowledge. Educational pursuits could yield fruitful results, enhancing their expertise and contributing to their professional growth. The inclination towards spirituality might offer them solace and guidance, fostering a sense of inner harmony and purpose. Financial gains and an increase in earning potential are highlighted during this transit. The positive influences of the sun's energy might lead to opportunities for improved financial stability and the acquisition of wealth. This transit indicates the potential for material acquisitions like purchasing new vehicles, gold, silver, and clothing. Engagement in charitable endeavors could further enhance Scorpio individuals' sense of fulfillment and purpose. This period might inspire them to contribute to their communities, engage in acts of compassion, and align their actions with their values. Family unity and assistance from both government officials and friends could further solidify their support network, providing a foundation for their growth and success. The influence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit amplifies communication and intellectual engagement. 
Scorpio individuals might find themselves inclined to engage in dynamic conversations, seek professional networking opportunities, and present their ideas with clarity and confidence. This could be an optimal time for strategic career moves, negotiations, and showcasing their talents. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces layers of depth and complexity. Saturn's influence could encourage Scorpio individuals to adopt a disciplined and pragmatic approach to their career pursuits, ensuring steady and sustainable progress. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion, possibly through new opportunities and professional advancements. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. The aspect of the Sun on the fourth house raises a note of caution, indicating the potential for a loss of comfort. While Scorpio individuals are poised for career success and recognition, it is important for them to prioritize their emotional well-being and maintain a sense of balance between their professional and personal lives. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the 10th house for Scorpio individuals ushers in a period of remarkable potential and achievements. With opportunities for career advancement, financial gains, and recognition, Scorpios are encouraged to seize the moment and channel their focused determination toward their goals. Engaging in educational pursuits, embracing spirituality, and contributing to charitable activities can further enhance their sense of purpose and fulfillment. As they navigate the influences of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu, Scorpio individuals have the potential to experience a transformative period of professional growth and personal evolution. The transit of the Sun through the Ninth House, often referred to as the House of Higher Learning, Spirituality, and Long Distance Travel, introduces a series of themes that encourage Sagittarius individuals to broaden their horizons and seek deeper meanings in their experiences. This transit ushers in a period of exploration, expansion, and potential introspection, prompting Sagittarians to navigate through potential hardships with resilience and a quest for higher understanding. While there are potential hurdles like humiliation and emotional suffering, the celestial energies present an opportunity for profound growth and transformation. Sagittarians may encounter moments of challenge like danger, embarrassment, and disappointment and vulnerability during this period. It is important for them to approach such experiences with a sense of self-awareness and emotional resilience. While these encounters may be uncomfortable, they can serve as catalysts for personal growth and self-improvement. Misunderstandings with the father and potential health concerns for the father could emerge as themes during this transit. Sagittarians are advised to foster open and clear communication with their paternal figures and offer support in maintaining their well-being. The difficulties in endeavors and potential conflicts with superiors underscore the importance of patience and strategic planning. It is essential for Sagittarius individuals to exercise caution, avoid unnecessary risks, and seek guidance when faced with challenges. Despite the potential hurdles, this transit encourages Sagittarius individuals to focus on further education and personal growth. The influence of the Sun in the Ninth House might inspire them to engage in intellectual pursuits, explore new perspectives, and delve into areas of knowledge that align with their interests. This period could be a time of expanding their horizons through learning, travel, and exposure to different cultures and beliefs. The Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit amplifies communication and intellectual engagement. Sagittarius individuals might find themselves drawn to share their insights, engage in philosophical discussions, and seek connections with individuals who share their interests. This could be an optimal time for studying, writing, and exchanging ideas that contribute to their personal and intellectual development. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun introduces layers of complexity to this phase. Saturn's influence could prompt Sagittarius individuals to adopt a disciplined and pragmatic approach to their personal growth and intellectual pursuits. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for expansion and growth, particularly through travel and philosophical exploration. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to new experiences. The aspect of the Sun on the third house brings positive indications, suggesting that Sagittarius individuals might experience positive outcomes related to communication and interactions with peers and siblings. This could be a time when their efforts to express themselves and share their insights yield favorable results. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the ninth house for Sagittarius individuals ushers in a period of exploration, growth, and potential challenges. While emotional setbacks and misunderstandings may arise, Sagittarians are encouraged to embrace these experiences as opportunities for personal development and self-discovery. Engaging in further education, expanding their intellectual pursuits, and seeking connections with diverse cultures and beliefs can contribute to their sense of fulfillment and expansion. As they navigate the influences of Saturn, 
Jupiter, and Rahu, Sagittarius individuals have the potential to emerge from this transit with a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. As the radiant sun embarks on its transit through the eighth house for Capricorn individuals, a period of introspection, potential challenges, and transformation beckons. This transit casts a light on hidden aspects of life, urging Capricorns to navigate through potential difficulties with resilience and a willingness to explore the depths of their being. The eighth house, often referred to as the house of transformation and shared resources, presents a range of themes that invite Capricorn individuals to delve into their inner world and confront underlying issues. While there's a potential for humiliation and illness may raise concerns, this period also offers an opportunity for profound growth and renewal. The transit of the sun through the eighth house may lead to the emergence of friendship conflicts and health challenges. It is important for Capricorns to approach interpersonal dynamics with patience and diplomacy, striving to maintain harmonious relationships. The potential high blood pressure and health issues underscores the importance of self-care and stress management, prompting them to prioritize their well-being and seek timely medical attention if needed. The sun's presence in the eighth house could spark an interest in the occult and hidden realms. Capricorns may find themselves drawn to introspective practices, seeking answers to deeper questions, and delving into mysteries beyond the surface. This could be a time of exploration, self-discovery, and a willingness to confront subconscious patterns that may have held them back. The effects of the sun's occupation of the eighth house encompass a spectrum of challenges, including difficulties in enterprises and legal disputes. It is advisable for Capricorns to approach business ventures with caution, conduct thorough research, and seek professional advice when necessary. Fear, headaches, and eye diseases encourages them to prioritize emotional well-being and explore stress relief techniques. The presence of Mercury alongside the Sun during this period suggests that communication and mental processes will play a significant role, potentially leading to discussions or contemplations regarding matters related to the Eighth House themes. Financial difficulties and potential resentment towards authority figures, including the government, may surface during this transit. Prudent financial management and clarity in legal matters are essential for Capricorns to navigate potential obstacles successfully. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun adds layers of complexity to this phase. Saturn's influence encourages Capricorns to adopt a disciplined and strategic approach to managing challenges. Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for inner growth and expansion through self-awareness. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. The aspect of the sun on the second house raises concerns about potential financial losses and fears, highlighting the importance of cautious financial planning and emotional well-being. In summary, the transit of the sun through the eighth house for Capricorn individuals introduces a period of potential challenges and transformation. While themes of humiliation and illness may arise, Capricorns are encouraged to embrace these experiences as opportunities for inner growth and self-discovery. Exploring hidden realms, nurturing emotional well-being, and confronting subconscious patterns can contribute to their sense of renewal and empowerment. The transit of the sun through the seventh house, often referred to as the house of partnerships and alliances, introduces a series of themes that highlight the significance of relationships and collaboration in Aquarius individuals' lives. While there is a potential for travel and spouses' illness may raise concerns, this period also holds the potential for growth and deeper understanding in the realm of interpersonal dynamics. Exhausting travel and potential health issues, such as colic and anorectal issues, may emerge as themes during this transit. It is important for Aquarians to prioritize their well-being and practice self-care, particularly if travel-related stress or physical discomfort arises. The chance of shame and illness underscores the importance of emotional resilience and seeking support when needed. The influence of the sun in the seventh house may lead to the emergence of disagreements with spouses and potential impediments in endeavors. Aquarians are encouraged to approach relationship challenges with open communication, empathy, and a willingness to find common ground. The delays in marriage and potential for extramarital affairs emphasize the importance of cultivating trust and transparency within partnerships. Digestive issues, blood discharge, and food poisoning are also potential concerns during this transit. Aquarians are advised to pay attention to their dietary habits, practice proper hygiene, and seek timely medical attention if health issues arise. The mention of loss of prestige, wanderings, and business losses suggests the need for careful planning and strategic decision-making. The focus on relationships and business endeavors prompts Aquarius individuals to consider their role and responsibilities within these spheres. If they are in a committed relationship, this period encourages them to evaluate the health of their partnership 
and take necessary actions to strengthen their bond. For those engaged in business ventures, the transit prompts a closer examination of their ventures. The influence of Mercury conjunct the Sun throughout this transit enhances communication and networking capabilities. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun adds layers of complexity to this phase. Saturn's influence encourages Aquarians to approach relationship dynamics with maturity and responsibility, while Jupiter's presence suggests the potential for growth and expansion through collaboration and partnerships. The aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging them to remain adaptable and open to change. The aspect of the Sun on the first house raises concerns about potential physical fatigue and disease. Aquarius individuals are encouraged to prioritize their well-being, practice self-care, and seek rest when needed. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the seventh house for Aquarius individuals introduces a period of potential challenges and growth in the realm of relationships and partnerships. While themes of travel, health concerns, and disagreements may arise, Aquarians are encouraged to approach these experiences with empathy, open communication, and a commitment to mutual understanding. Engaging in self-care, nurturing personal connections, and evaluating business endeavors can contribute to their overall well-being and success. The presence of the sun in the sixth house casts a beneficial light, fostering mental tranquility and the dissolution of adversaries. Pisces individuals may find themselves better equipped to navigate through challenges, rendering their path smoother and more conducive to success. The allusion to freedom from sorrows, concerns, and problems resonates as an opportunity to shed emotional burdens and embrace a renewed sense of clarity and optimism. The strength and favorable positioning of the sun hold the potential to aid in overcoming obstacles and adversaries. This phase can manifest as a period of empowerment, as Pisceans find themselves equipped with the tools to triumph over hurdles that may have previously seemed insurmountable. Financial improvements and the potential to recover money borrowed from others add a promising dimension to this period, encouraging Pisceans to navigate financial matters with confidence. Long-lasting illnesses may find resolution during this transit, as the sun's influence nurtures physical well-being and vitality. The prospect of sexual fulfillment suggests a heightened sense of connection and intimacy contributing to emotional well-being. Success in education and the potential for profits from government-related pursuits augur well for Pisces individuals engaged in academic or bureaucratic spheres. There is a potential for successful ventures outside familiar territory. Efforts that were once abandoned could find renewed momentum and fruition during this period, underscoring the importance of persistence and determination. The transit prompts Pisceans to direct their energies towards overcoming obstacles whether in personal endeavors or professional pursuits. This transit encourages Pisces individuals to wield authority and tackle challenges with a resolute spirit. This assertive approach can contribute to the resolution of disputes and the attainment of goals. However, potential difficulties with government and legal procedures may require careful attention and a measured approach. The aspect of Saturn, Jupiter, and Rahu on the Sun adds layers of depth and complexity to this phase. Saturn's aspect encourages Pisceans to approach challenges with discipline and a methodical approach, fostering steady progress and growth. Jupiter's aspect suggests the potential for expansion and growth through overcoming obstacles, while the aspect of Rahu introduces an element of unpredictability, urging adaptability in the face of change. The aspect of the Sun on the twelfth house raises awareness of potential expenditures and challenges related to sleep patterns. Pisces individuals are encouraged to exercise prudence in financial matters and prioritize adequate rest for overall well-being. The conjunction of Mercury with the Sun throughout this transit amplifies communicative abilities and the potential for effective networking. In summary, the transit of the Sun through the sixth house for Pisces individuals unveils a tapestry of potential growth, empowerment, and triumph over challenges. Themes of defeating enemies, financial improvements, and health considerations may emerge. Pisceans are encouraged to approach these experiences with determination, resilience, and a commitment to their own well-being. Embracing a disciplined and assertive approach, nurturing personal connections, and prioritizing health can contribute to their overall success and fulfillment. Thank you for joining us and exploring the exciting predictions for each zodiac sign as the sun takes its transformative journey through Leo. Remember, these insights provide a glimpse into the potential influences, but your unique astrological makeup shapes your personal experiences. Be sure to check our other videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more insightful content. May your path be illuminated with positivity and growth. Until next time, stay curious and keep shining bright.